Wildcats. Today is Friday, January 23rd. I'm Lacey. And I'm Leanne. And, and this, this is your WCAT News. The Powder Puff football game is Wednesday, February 11th, and sign-ups will be taking place today during lunches. Necessary forms can be found on the school's website, or you can see Ms. Blanco in room 307. The first meeting is Monday, January 26th in the Media Center. February 11th is also our first Spring Roar Cat Carnival and will be at the stadium from 5 to 8. SGA has rented an inflatable obstacle course and most of the assistant principals will be taking a turn in the dunk tank. Mr. Cole will be substituting for Ms. Johnson for the sophomore class. Clubs and classes are invited to host a fun activity so talk to your sponsors and register now. There will be Army recruiters in both lunches if you have any questions about joining the Army. Just a reminder that there is SAT testing tomorrow from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. Make sure to get a good night's rest. Talent show auditions are in room 820 and starting February 24th. If you have any questions, please contact either Ms. Enyar or Mr. Wallaconis. Now here's Matt with the lunch menu and today's weather forecast. Good morning, Wildcats. For today's lunch, we'll be having a PB&J jamwich, a build-your-own burrito, and Big Daddy's pizza. For our weather, we'll have a high of 79 and a low of 65, and it will be rainy. Back to our anchor. Thanks, Matt. Good luck to Winterguard at their premier competition tomorrow at Durant High School. Now back to Matt for sports. Welcome back, Wildcats. Wrestling will be at McKeel High School today. Also, boys basketball will be playing against Hernando High. They'll be home. JV's at 6 and Varsity's at 7.30. Back to our anchors. Thanks, Matt. More from sports. The boys basketball team needs a manager for the remainder of the season. This person must be a hardworking and dependable person and available for all home and away JV and Varsity games. To Coach Gressif if you are interested. The JV Cheerleaders fundraiser is now taking place. You can now order your pizza kits, cheese sticks, or cookies from any JV cheerleader or Miss Joyner. Follow Wesley the Wildcat on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and be sure to check the website for lots of up-to-date information. That's, That's all for your WCAT news. news. Have a great day, Wildcats. Here's another look at some more video games that hit media spotlight during the year of 2014. Titanfall was an Xbox One game that released shortly after the launch of the console. This game suffered from being overhyped but fell short of consumer expectations due to repetitive gameplay and lack of content. Five Nights at Freddy's 1 and 2 are two games that hit YouTube fame very quickly after being picked up by famous YouTubers. This game is everything everyone thought it would be and still is. 10 out of 10 on Steam even after being out for 5 months. Assassin's Creed Unity suffered from technical failures. From no face to falling through floors, nothing was safe from a glitch. Ubisoft made up for this by adding 4 gigabytes of updates and making the first DLC free to anyone who bought the game on launch. That was another look at video games that hit media spotlight. Hope you enjoyed.